Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. These are going to be love messages for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and we're going to see what's happening between you guys right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. Also, I urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, this could be a current situation, or it could be an energy that's moving towards you in the month of May. Now, as I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, take a moment to check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in order of appearance. Also, feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right, Libras, let's jump into this. Mm, let's see what messages come through for my dearest Libras. Messages for Libra, please. Right, we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So Libras, you might be waiting on something. Um, this is Capricorn energy, Taurus or Virgo. Um, you might have that in your chart. You might be dealing with an Earth sign, but I do feel like you're waiting. There's something that has shaken your stability. Um, it could just be meeting this person, or it could be that there's a breakup or a separation. Your situations are all gonna be different, but this is also about doing things differently. Okay, because the Four of Pentacles is about releasing something. Um, it's about maybe you're releasing a person or a connection because you realize that like there was no collaboration or you weren't on the same page. Um, it could also just be releasing a, a way of doing things, like doing things differently is what I'm getting. You see your person as the King of Wands. Okay, so many of you guys, you could have been married to this person um, or... Um, or you see them as kind of a player. You're not sure if they're going to make a commitment or not. The relationship Ten of Wands. For many of you guys, yeah, for many of you guys, I feel like, Libra, you are walking away from this person. The relationship had too many difficulties or you couldn't trust this person. You didn't feel like they were coming in to make you a commitment. You weren't on the same page. Yeah, there's some sort of karmic cycle coming to an end. Your person has made a decision. Okay, where they want to channel their efforts, or at least you feel like they did. Libra, your person wants to heal this. Again, Capricorn energy coming through very strong. Um, and the King of Cups, they love you. Oh my God, Libra. <laughs> this person loves you. They know that you see them as a player. Okay, or at least they, or at least they think, no, they know that you see them as a player, or for some reason you weren't committing to the connection. They know that they're going to lose you, or they already have, okay? And I feel like they are doing everything under the sun. They want to commit, and they want to commit to you. They want to make this work. They want things to start. They want to start over. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody here might have been playing the field, or you don't trust them. Um, the world, for some of you guys, this connection is over. And the reason it's over is because there were too many people involved, okay? So I do feel like you might have been dealing with somebody who was either unfaithful or somebody who um, or who didn't want to make a commitment. Or you found out that they were talking to other people. The Knight of Cups is that Casanova energy. Somebody who, you know, it's a player or a play it. And we get the King of Wands in reverse, same energy. But Libra, what they're realizing here is that they absolutely love you, okay? And they want success with you. For some of you, they are going to be coming back and say, you know what, I'm not a player anymore. I put my play at days behind me. But there is a lot of conflict between you guys. And I feel like you're really, you do need to really look out for yourself. But I want to say to you, this person really does love you. Okay. All right. Overall energy, we get the chariot. So some of you guys are dealing with a cancer. But the chariot is in reverse. Yeah, some of you guys, this is your person. You might have been engaged to this person. You might have lived with this person. You might have just seen them as your love, okay, as your person. Some of you may even have a child with this person. But something that you found out, this Ace of Cups, or maybe you're just tired of doing all the work. Or maybe, you know, again, with this Five of Swords, I feel like there's a lack of trust. You know, you feel like this person was playing mind games with you. Maybe they were making you jealous um, or trying to make you jealous. And I feel like you're like, you know what? I'm not going to be in this relationship on my own um, because I do feel with the devil card in reverse. It's like you do feel like this person 
is toxic, okay? But I still feel like you're kind of stuck on them, um, even though I think you're ready to release them, okay? Or you maybe already have Libra. So let's take a look at the Four of Pentacles in reverse. What is going on here for my Libras? Four of Pentacles in reverse. Your energy. Yeah, some of you guys, you have asked for a divorce. Um, many of you guys, you've walked away from this person because the relationship, it was too burdensome. Maybe you, you know, you caught them, you know, still talking to exes or talking to people behind your back. I feel like it happened one too many times and they, they're not liking it. They do not want to let you go. They have a lot of love for you. They're coming in to tell you, I've changed my ways. I absolutely, I don't know if you're going to believe them. Libra, this is your energy in reverse, the justice card. You do feel turned upside down because I think you saw yourself marrying this person. Maybe you even have kids with them. Maybe you live with this person. It's like the rug has been pulled out from underneath you. You may have, you know, you might have seen like a text message or found out about them talking to somebody else. Okay, four of pentacles. But you're, you know, in a way, Libra, you still are holding on to this person. Um, I feel like they are still holding on to you. They don't want to let you go because you offer this person stability, but I think you're feeling drained. You might be the one, you might have children, you might be, you know, have their, I feel like you, you might be the one that takes care of the children, that holds the family together. You offer them stability, but I don't, I think, I think this person was fooling around. I think this person wasn't as committed to you as you were to them or to making things work. And, you know, it's like the straw that broke the camel's back and you're ready to let go. I think, <laughs> you know, because I see you in the energy of letting go. Maybe you're actually, you know, asking for that divorce. Maybe you're, you know, I think you're probably telling them off, Libra. That's what I'm getting. You're telling them off. You're telling them, you know, how you feel, that you're done, that you're over, yeah, judgment. So some of you guys, it's going to be different because the judgment card can be about, you know, second chances. So if you do want to heal this situation, I do feel like this person is going to tell you about whether or not they have changed. Well, they're going to tell you they changed. They want to win you back. They don't want to lose you. I feel like they're holding on to you. But I also feel like they need to, It you need to be 100% sure that they've changed their player ways. And for many of you, they haven't. And this is judgment. You're ready for something new. You're up leveling. Some of you guys, you know, you have children with this person and you're telling them to get lost. You're like, I'm done. I deserve something better. And you're learning a very, very tough lesson here. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we get the hanged man. It's like you're seeing this person completely differently, Libra. You, you may have loved this person. You may have done everything for this person, but I feel like, you know, you've taken it as far as you can and this person refuses to change to change their player ways, to change their play at ways. They still talk to people. I think um, it's just a really imbalanced situation. If there isn't a third party situation, this may not be your reading because again, King of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Devil all showing up here with the Five of Swords as well. It's like there has been a lot of emotional manipulation here. We get this energy of third party with the Empress coming out, okay? This person, I feel like you either found out that they have a lover on the side or they've been talking to a lot of different people and, you know, you may have even found this out and given them an ultimatum and I think you found out that they're still talking to this person um, or, they're still, or they haven't changed their ways, okay? They're seeing you as cutting them, cutting them loose. I feel like, Libra, you have told this person off or you are about to. All right, so the devil in reverse, you're walking away from them. You are telling this person they are toxic. You have given them too many chances. Even if you have their kid, you're like, you know what? You're not going to see us. I am done. I'm just getting this very sort of Libra, like really empowered energy. Yeah, you're done. You're walking away. You're done with the mind games. You, you have pulled back your energy to heal and they know it. They know that they've hurt you. And I think it's not, I think it's not the first time, Libra. I think this has been going on for quite some time and you, you've had enough. Five of Swords, you're like, no more mind, F-U-C-K-I-N-G, right? I'm done. I'm absolutely done. It's time for me to heal from this connection. I've held on to it for too long. I do feel like spirit is supporting you and letting go. This is something that you've held on to for a long time because either you guys have been married or you, you know, you're, 
you've been together for a long time, it offered you a sense of security and stability. Somebody might be financially dependent on the other one, but it's basically like, I can't do this anymore. I'd rather be poor than be with you, okay? I'd rather be alone than be with somebody who's, who's not really with me. All right, the King of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they don't, they, they love you. They do not want you to be single because they know that you're a good catch. They see you as their whole world, even though they didn't treat you that way. The nine of the um the nine of pentacles, this is Venus and Virgo energy. They also they see that they could they that that they either have lost you or they are really about to lose you. They want to put in work in this connection. Okay. It's gonna be up to you, but with the King of Cups, there's a lot of love here. And again, I may be dealing with two people who are parents. Okay, where you share a child together and they want to put work into it. But I, you have to be really careful because if this person hasn't changed and if they've proven you wrong more than once, you are absolutely, I'm getting an off with their head energy with this justice. This may not seem fair, but I'm doing what's right for me. Okay, I'm doing what's right for me. And some of you guys, you know, you're, I mean, some of you guys, you're, you're contacting your lawyer. Okay, some of you, I just heard call in the cops, you know, that I hope not, but, you know, very, you know, it might be just like, you know what, I'm out to win, I'm done with your SHIT, and sorry, I'm swearing so much in this reading, Libra, but it's this energy, it's like this person, you know, this person, it's like spirit wants you to release this connection, Knight of Cups in reverse, Wheel of Fortune, yeah, this was a destined connection, this very well may have been a karmic situation, but Spirit's asking you to move forward. This person has been holding you back, okay? This person has been very imbalanced. I'm getting a very chaotic energy from them. Some of you guys, you might feel like this is your twin flame. But for others of you, you close out this cycle. You know what you're calling in? You're calling in a true soulmate, okay? This person treated you like an option or had options, I think you maybe even, you know, you love this person, you wanted things to work, you gave them chances and they still, on the outside, it was like they chose you, but they didn't stop going behind your back. And Spirit's saying, close out this cycle, you get love and it may be coming to you when we get that new moon in Gemini or in the month of June, okay? Because I'm seeing you put a stop to the player, your fortune changes. You are going to see that what you needed to release, what you were holding on to the most, Libra, is what you needed to release and when you do that you get you get your you get your cake and to eat it too okay and this person this person is being left out in the cold i feel like they're going to try to come back and be like oh let's work on it for the family i think there's nothing more that you would like but you know that you cannot trust this person okay we get the 6 of pentacles so this is somebody who is going to come in and say one more time that you know what, I'm going to fix things. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make things work. Yeah, page of swords. You can't trust this person. You can't trust this person. They might still, even if they're not seeing somebody, you know, they're talking to them behind your back and you're going to either, you saw this in a text message or you saw this online. Knight of Cups, they're a player. And I think maybe you refused to see this or you didn't see it for a long time, but you're closing out this karmic cycle. Some of you guys, you're kicking them out of the house. We get the Knight of Rods, player energy, queen of rods. There's somebody else involved here. You may not have been able to see that. They might have spun a very, very sort of, um, you know, magical tale to sort of rope you back in. But, you know, and they're definitely, they're going to come in and they're going to try to say, let's work this out for the family or let's work this out. We love each other. We've been through so much. Okay. But what I'm seeing here, we still see somebody who's giving to two different people. Okay. So if you found out they had a mistress or they had somebody, you know, a side piece, um, that hasn't changed. And I don't think that is going to change. All right. They do not want to let you go, but there are all of the cards here. Libra are pointing to it's time you cut this person loose. You get unstuck. You actually, you know, you fall into, you know, you see the miracles start piling up because you've generated the karma here, the good relationship karma. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's just been dogging you, who's been doing you dirty. You love this person, but spirit saying, close out this cycle. This person is bad news and they have been for a long time. They are not going to want to let you go. Okay. They are not going to want to let you go because you do offer them stability. And again, some of you have a child with this person. Double confirmation of the cancer energy, the chariot. This person has been keeping you stuck. Okay. 
<clears throat> yep. Why? Because they have you in a third party situation. They're lying. They're betrayal. It's done. The, the message here is very clear, Libra. You have to be done with this person. It's time to leave them out in the cold. And this is how they're going to feel. Okay, they are going to come back in, trying to come back in, trying to move back in, trying to do it for the family. But you know what? The same cycle is going to repeat itself if you don't change things right now because this person isn't changing. Yep, but they can't offer you stability. You have waited for them to give you, you know, to give you stability, to show up for you, uh, to get rid of any other anybody else that might be involved in this connection. It's it's over. It's over for you, Libra. Overall energy, they're going to come in. They want a second chance, but you know what? You're being told to detach, to move forward. If you've if you filed for a divorce, it's time to go through with it. Okay, this person doesn't bring you any stability. They've betrayed you one too many times, or maybe just once was enough. But at the center of this reading, there is a lot of love. This was a karmic connection that you were meant to learn from. Okay, but you're also, Spirit, saying it's time to move on. There's up-leveling. You've taken it as far as you can, Libra. And when you release this connection, it's not going to be easy. And they're not going to want to let you go. And they're going to pull out all the stops. But you cannot trust this person, Libra. Many of you, you're dealing with a Scorpio or you're dealing with a Cancer. This person, if you are not talking to them, they are spying on you. I do feel like they're trying, they're like getting their friends to like look up and see what you're doing. They might have fake accounts where they're watching you. They can't move on from you. Even if they have other options, even if it looks like they have. Okay, I'm not sure I feel the same way as I once did. Yeah, because you're changing your perspective here. You love this person. You did not want to let this person go. You wanted to work on things, Libra. And you know what? Not happening. Everything will be all right. Please trust me. So they want you to trust them. You can't. I'm just, I'm just being straight up here, Libra. You cannot trust this person. Okay. I regret walking away. Yeah. Because they know ultimately that what they did caused you to walk away. They may have even left you for somebody else. Sometimes I stare at my phone and I become stuck. Yeah. They don't know what to say to you. They can't actually believe. They can't actually believe that you're walking away. Because I feel like many of you guys, this has been a long-term commitment. But you deserve reciprocity. And I, I really do. Spirit's coming through here right in the center of this reading. You close out this karmic cycle, Libra, and you will get a gift from the universe. You're going to see the miracles pile up. Okay, many of you guys, I know that's very hard for you to see right now. But the message is very clear. It's time to walk away from this person. It absolutely is. At the bottom of the deck, I'm learning to open my heart. But you know what? You don't have all the time in the world to wait for them to learn. You don't. And you're done. I feel like this person has betrayed you one too many times. It's You might have to release this person a hundred times, but the message in this reading is very clear, Libra. Hmm. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Yeah, definitely. Again, you go with the flow, Wheel of Fortune. You cut this player off or this playette off. And you're going to be really surprised because they keep showing me miracles are going to pile up for you. It's not going to be easy, okay? But your love life is going through a major transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things, okay? But I feel like this is you. I feel like this is your heart. You're going through a transformation. You're not seeing this person the way you once did. You're seeing through their antics. You're seeing through their smoke screens. You're seeing through their lies and their deception, okay? And we get twin flames. So for some of you guys, this is a twin flame journey. There is something being mirrored back to you, but I feel like you, I feel like you persevered here. You know, you saw this person as your forever person. Again, maybe you guys live together or you have children together, but you're releasing it because you realize you don't deserve this. This isn't fair. 
And for many of you guys, this may be your twin flame journey and you know how complicated this can be, but I'm getting, you know, it's very similar to the Leo reading as well. It's like, goodbye, I've got to go. I can't do this. I can't bear it. And when you do, you're going to see the miracles pile up. And at the bottom of the deck, we get give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. You absolutely do, Libra, but you have to cut this person out. You absolutely do. You have to think about yourself. You have to think about your family. They've kept you stuck too long. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.